Hello everyone, in this video we will be writing equations and sketching the graph of reciprocal function of the form f of x equals 1 over x minus h plus k given the asymptotes. Please remember that the parent equation of this reciprocal function that we have up here is y equals 1 over x and the graphing form is y equals 1 over x minus h plus k where the h and k here are the parameters. H shifts the graph left or right, so it's going to be left if the value of H is negative, and it's going to be right if the value of H is positive. Well, the K shifts the graph up or down, it's going to be positive if it moves up, and if it's going to be negative if it moves down. Now, let's take this first example right here. What is the equation of the reciprocal function of the form y equals 1 over x minus h plus k if the horizontal asymptote is y equals 2 and the vertical asymptote is x equals 0 and we sketch the graph? The first step that we are going to do in order that we can write the equation of this reciprocal function given these two asymptotes is to solve for h and k. So I'm going to write the steps right here. So we're going to have step 1. So we are going to solve for h and k. In order that we can solve for h, we are going to set the denominator equal to 0. So that would be um, x minus h equals 0. And then again, we set this equal to 0 because the asymptote exists when the, this denominator is 0 because 1 over 0 is undefined and that's where the asymptote is sitting. So then we can go ahead and plug in the value of x that is given to us in the vertical asymptote, which is 0. So I'm going to put the 0 there. Again, I got it from here. I put it here for the x. And then that is minus h equals 0. And then we can... Um, we, can, we are left with negative h is equal to 0, so then we can divide both sides by um, negative 1, and negative 1 to make the h equal to uh, positive, but pretty much our h is, so let's divide this by negative 1, divide this by um, negative 1, so then our h is actually still 0. So that's the value of h. And what does this 0 tell us? It tells us that the graph did not go left or right because it's zero. So remember, the h tells us if the graph is moving left or right, but since that is zero is neutral. Neutral means it's not even positive or it's not a negative. So the graph did not uh, move left or right. Left or right. So it's just, um, uh, it didn't go left or right. Now we are going to solve for the, um, solve for the k. Pretty much the k is pretty straightforward. Whatever the value of the horizontal asymptote, this um, side right here, that's the one that is equal to the k. So pretty much our k is equal to just positive 2. So I go ahead and write 2 there. And so this tells us, tells us that this is, uh, since this is a positive 2, it means that the graph moves up two places up. Okay, step 2 is to... Um, plug in the values of h and k into this equation right here. So we plug it in here and then we determine the equation. So I'm just gonna write step two here. So that would be, I write uh, y, so that would be y equals one over x. And then we have here a zero, so minus zero, or again, the h is zero. So we plug it in there. So uh, plus zero or minus zero, since zero is neutral, we don't have to write the zero. So I can just keep this as one over x. And then we have uh, the k is two. Um, I'm going to put the k right there, two. So that's, I'm just gonna write plus two. So this is the equation for this condition that we have or for this problem that we have up here. So this equation that we have here has a vertical asymptote of x equals zero and a horizontal asymptote of y is equal to two. So what does this um, tell us? That the graph again did not move uh, left or right. Um, but then the graph is uh, has moved two places up. Now, I will give you the fastest way in order that we can determine the equation without having to go through this work here. So the, the trick here is that we go ahead and write y equals 1 over x. We are going to 
switch the right side of the vertical asymptote. Since this is a zero, I don't have to write zero. Anytime you have a zero in this kind of problem, you don't really need to add or subtract zero from it because adding a zero would not change the X or subtracting a zero would not change an X. So we're just gonna keep that as X. Again, I, um, I switched it, but since zero is neutral, I don't write it. Now I keep this. So please remember we switch this part. So I'm just gonna label this as um, switch. And then this part we keep. So then we can go ahead and say, well, we switch, but then since this is neutral, again, I, I don't write the um, zero, but then I keep the two, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write two there. And so this is the equation for this um, condition that we have here. If we are going to graph this, please take note that the parent graph of um, reciprocal function with this parent equation one over x is this. This happens when the h and k are zeros. It's gonna sit at the point of origin, but then it says here that it did not move left or right, but then it moved up to, so it's gonna move up here. So it's gonna get translated up, and this is where the graph should sit. Now let's see if we actually graph the vertical and the horizontal asymptote. Does it really match that it sits here? So first we are going to draw the vertical asymptote, x is zero. So I'm just gonna uh, draw the asymptote right here. So that's x equals zero. And then the horizontal asymptote is y equals two. So it's gonna be up here. So I'm gonna draw the horizontal asymptote right here. And so we can go ahead and sketch the graph here. So this is where the graph is gonna sit. So this is the translated graph. So this is the uh, graph of this equation right here. Again, originally a uh, uh, um, parent graph of a reciprocal function is sitting at uh, the point of origin. But since we say that using this equation, which we got from the conditions that we have here, that it did not move left or right, but it moved up. So we go up one, two, and you see both graphs are a match. Wow. Using the uh, shortest method that we have um, come up here, we can actually tell from this equation where the graph is moving. Is it moving left, right, up, or down? Please remember that this part right here is supposed to be switched. And this part right here is supposed to be kept. So what's going on here is that since this is X, that means it has a zero on it. Since there, uh, since that's a zero, we don't need to write it. It means that it did not move. Remember the H tells us if it's left or right. That's right here. Since that's a zero, it's neutral. It's not positive. It's not negative. So it did not move left or Right, and that corresponds to the h value that we have solved here. Now, the uh, to determine where does it go up or down, we'll look at this. Remember, we keep it, so that's a positive two. It means that the graph moved up because that is positive. So we keep the sign positive so that it went up. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So again, the first step is to solve for H and K. So I'm just gonna show the work on the side here. So this is our step one. So we're solving for H and K. So that would be, we set this equal to um, zero. So that would be um, X minus H equals zero. And we know that in this problem, our X is negative three. So I put in negative three there, and then that's a minus H equals zero. So we're gonna add three from both sides because we want to solve for H. So plus three and plus three here. So then we can go ahead and cross out the um, three, and then we're left with negative H is equal to three, and then we want a positive H, so we're gonna divide negative one, divide this by negative one, so then we go ahead and write H is equal to negative three. And what does the negative tell us? This means that the graph moved left three places. Now our K, again, is this value that we have here which is zero. So this means that it did not move 
up or down. So I'm just gonna write here, did not move up or down. So the graph is just, um, didn't go up or down. So then we can go ahead and write the equation right here. So the equation that we can have for this would be, which is step two here. So step two would be y equals one over x. And then please remember that our, the h that we solved is negative three. So I put that in here, so x minus. And then I put in the h which we solved as negative three and then plus zero, because the k was zero. So I, what I did was I plugged in x minus, the h was negative three, I put it in red, and then the k was zero, so I'm just gonna add plus zero there. So then we can go ahead and simplify this as y equals one over x plus three because we already have a um, negative and a negative, we'll make it positive. We don't need to write the zero. So this is the equation for this um, problem right here. So uh, again, I will give you the fastest way to uh, get the equation without having to do all this work here. You can have those options, whether you wanna use the, uh, the long method, this two steps right here, or you, um, Use the trick, that should be fine. So our final equation here would be y is equal to one over. Please remember that the um, in the trick, we are supposed to switch the sign of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write x, switch the sign of this, that would be a plus three. And then we put the, uh, we uh, again, this is switch and keep the sign so that means we just we don't need to add zero again if it's zero you don't add or subtract the zero just don't write it um so this is the equation that we have here so that's the that's the that's the trick that's the fastest way just switch this part and keep this so that is the equation this means that the original graph the parent graph sits at a point of origin but it says that it did not move up or down so it did not move up or down, but instead it moved three places to the left because that's a negative. So it went to the left three times. So that would be one, two, and three. So this is where the graph should sit. Now let's see if that would make sense with the conditions that we have here. First, it says that the vertical asymptote is x negative three. So that means this is the vertical asymptote right here. And it says that the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So this is the horizontal asymptote. So then we can go ahead and sketch the graph here. It's gonna go towards the asymptote, but it's, it's not gonna touch it. It's gonna get closer to the asymptote, but it's not gonna touch it. So let's see if that would make sense. Again, translating it from the parent graph. That's the parent graph right here. We say that it moved three places left, one, two, three, and then it did not move up or down. Uh, as you can see, both graphs are a match. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So um, the uh, third problem here. So we're gonna uh, move on to the first step. So I'm just gonna write step one right here. Step one again is to solve for h and k. So to solve for h, we set this equal to zero. So that would be x minus h equals zero. So then we go ahead and uh, since we say that our x is two, so I go ahead and write two. And then that's a minus h equals zero. We're gonna subtract two from both sides, minus two and minus two. So then we can cross this out. So negative h is equal to negative two. We divide both sides by negative one because we want a positive h. So then this would come out, h is equal to positive two. This tells us that the graph, since this is positive, the graph moved to the right, two places to the right. Okay, now let's have the k. So please remember that the k is actually this one right here. So that would be a negative one. And this tells us since this is negative, it went down. So I'm just gonna write down here because again, that's negative. So then from here, we can go ahead and uh, determine the uh, equation of this um, problem right here, which is step two, we plug in the h and k. So then we go ahead and write y equals one over x 
our, so again, we're putting in, so what I'm doing right now is I, I wrote this, so one over x minus our h is positive two, so I'm just gonna write positive two right there, so, and then our k is negative one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write negative one right here. So the final equation is y equals one over x minus two minus one. So it's pretty much the same thing. So this is the um, equation for this problem right there. Again, I'll give you a trick. Um, in order that we can determine the equation uh, like really quick. So we're gonna write y equals one over. Please remember that we switch this. So switch this part. So then we can go ahead and say x, we switch it, that would be negative two. And then we keep this. So we are gonna keep that, so that would be a minus one. So then we can go ahead and have this as the equation for this problem right here. And what does this tell us? Again, this is the parent graph of a reciprocal function. It says that we are supposed to move two places right. So that would be one, two, and then one uh, place down one. So this is where the graph should sit. Now let's draw this graph based on this problem right here. The vertical asymptote is at x is equal to positive two. So this is the vertical asymptote. And then the horizontal asymptote is y equals negative one. So this is the horizontal asymptote. So then we can go ahead and sketch the uh, graph. This graph is going to approach, uh, or it's going to get closer and closer to the Asymptote, but it's not gonna touch it. It's gonna get closer and closer to the asymptote, but it's not gonna touch it. So this is the graph, and it makes sense because, or again, originally the parent graph sits at the point of origin where the x and k are zero, but it says here that it moved two places right. So that's one, two, and then one place down, one. Now looking at this equation right here, we can actually tell where the graph is moving. So please remember, again, um, it, this was mentioned in the other video, that in order that we can determine where the graph is moving, this should be switched, and this should be kept. So what, what does it mean? So in this problem right here, since we say a negative two, negative two, remember it should be switched, that's a positive two, so that means it moved the graph to the right because we're supposed to switch the sign of that, so that should have been a positive two. So the k was a positive two, so that's, uh, we switch. So they move to the right, and this one is keep, so that means that it, since it's a negative one, we go ahead and say that, since we say keep, so that's the sign right there, so it went down. And that makes sense over here as well. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.